Hi there Annie ML crossing underscore Hi there Lewis 61589 Hi there zero zero KY Hi you guys! Kenny's boyfriend should be coming crawling back tonight? Oh! Yeah, that's right! <laughs> he is coming home tonight. Hi Sam! Hi Lewis! Wait, who else is here? Let me check, let me check. What are you guys talking about? Let me turn the switch on and everything. Look, I got like... Little vines in the background. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so, Sam, we're doing an outfit change? Are we keeping the ducky? Ah, Lewis asked the same thing. <laughs> Supply and demand regulates that you now must increase the price of costume change. Honestly, I should. Also, I'm so red right now, I'm gonna have to change that. <laughs> To keep you annoyed, yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> it's fine where it is. First come, first serve. Also true. <laughs> no more ducky. <laughs> you need one bush but no leaf. Oh no. 
We are, we keep the duck. All right, we're keeping the duck. You know who doesn't like the duck? Who doesn't like the duck? I think duck is universally, universally loved. <laughs> Fruit bird cam coming soon. What the heck? I didn't do something for long enough that my switch actually turned off. Let's get into this. Ooh, update. Ban the haters. <laughs> Goodbye, haters. Be gone. Time to annoy people who don't like the duck. Who doesn't like the duck? Duck is duck. We we keep duck. Wait, why? Oh, it's turning off because updates. I got it. <laughs> we are duck cult. Duck duck is love. Duck is life. Do we need a duck emote? If we need a duck emote, I'm gonna need some more subs. <laughs> This music is cute. I like this one. I look weird. <laughs> it's better. Ducky Momo? No. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> or a duck command? That'd be cute. What would the duck command do? Let me uh, deal with this color situation here, because... My nose is bright red. <laughs> so let's tune that down a little bit. There we go. That's better. Hi there, stream elements. So, this is already getting stuck in my hair. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with that. But besides that, I think it looks cute. These little vines. I've been looking for something to put in the background, like, for a good while. Hello. Things aren't working out. <laughs> ducky mo, ducky mo mo. Do you mean like the one, like this, the the creepy momo girl from a while back? Because if that's what you mean, then absolutely not. There's no chance. Hello. Why can I not? It's not working. Why not? Quack, quack, quack. He's your very best friend. <laughs> Who's the happy time toy toy? What the heck? Quack fam. Oh gosh. I thought bees were our thing, guys. can't use my controller. It's not working. For every girl and boy, who's the fuzzy enjoyment? Oh, wait a minute. We need some non-binary uh, representation here. Make fun with Ducky Momo. <laughs> Duck cult. Oh no. Bees and ducks to go together like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Probably won't be able to hear it, so let's turn that off and on. There we go. Hola, I'm a non-binary babe, and you're more than welcome here. So that's why we need some representation. In the Ducky Momo cult song, which apparently is what we're doing now. He's the semi-aquatic egg-laying bird of water. <laughs> we do need a duck cam. I, I, I am going to scour the internet for a duck cam. Also, speaking of, like, semi-aquatic animals, look at this cute little boy. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> this little froggy boy. Are frogs considered semi-aquatic? Probably, right? What the heck is going on? For some reason it keeps freezing. 
What the heck is going on? Well, it wouldn't be in Annie's stream if something didn't go wrong, right? There we go. Aha! Alright, let me turn this one off. Duck Colt, Duck Fam. <laughs> He's the sim- yeah. Frog's also lay eggs, in a way. He's the semi-aquatic tadpole laying amphibian of action. <laughs> of action. I like that one. Hey Gabe, how are you? They are Razor Kitty headphones. They are, they are. Not that I can hear through them. <laughs> there we go. Now I can. <laughs> how are you, Gabe? I haven't seen you in a little bit. Alright, now that everything is actually working instead of just getting messed up. <laughs> mobile? I'm always on mobile, which is a big bummer. It's our duck messiah that must be protected from the Judases of the world. Duck cult, duck fam. He will show us to the promised land. Let's see here. Are we still in cherry blossom season or do I need to move to our actual timeline? Also, when was Earth- when is slash was Earth Day? Because if I missed that, that would be a bummer. What the heck? This isn't me? <laughs> this isn't me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> because of everything being like, this is my boyfriend's character. Because of the whole everything being messed up for a little bit there and for some reason my capture card being like, we're not working. I accidentally opened on my boyfriend's character instead. Yikes. <laughs> can I make- can- can I- can someone make- wow. Can someone please make a duck cult island? Oh gosh. Yes. We need that. Does BF have leaf? Good question. Good question. I'll check if we have leaf. Also, I got a new water bottle. Look at how cute it is. It's got like little peaches on it. <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> you think Ducky Momo would be friends with Molly? First, ooh. First of all, nice pun. A duck cult basement. Oh my gosh. You guys are out of control. <laughs> there we go. I mean how many how many duck villagers are there? Exactly, the decoy ducks you could be using. How many duck villagers are there? At least one. I figured. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ten ducks? Oh my gosh. Ten ducks? Fill that whole island. Mermaid. Fill the whole island with decoy ducks? Hi, mermaid. How are you? April 11th. So I think cherry blossom season is over. Sad. Goodbye, Isabel. It's enough of you. So, besides... Don't time travel yet, birthday? Oh, that's right. I gotta time travel to Rocket's birthday. You're very right. Patty gave me a gift, how sweet. Behold, my piece inspired by the noble honeybee. Sadly, my work can reveal only a fraction of its likeness. May it bring bugs even ever further into your heart. Flick the anthropod artiste. Dr. Cole. It doesn't matter. Only Molly is important. <laughs> what? I guess, but, like, if we had an island full... If we had an island full of ducks, that'd be fun. Yes, outfit change. Of course. You're very right. Let me put away a bunch of things.
I thought I had placed a lot of those. Yeah, sure, it's fine. I want to acquire every critter model, model eventually. What? In what? We managed to save the duck for another day thanks to Sam. Of course. I wouldn't have expected any less. <laughs> nice save. Um, you see the Molly drawing I shared on Discord? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to check it out in just a sec, okay? I've been super busy this morning. Actually, this whole week so far has been just really busy and stuff. Alright. Outfit change. What are we up to, Sam? What are we in for today? To show how our duck queen can slay. <laughs> Cute. Let me see. I'm gonna go check it out. I assume it's an art. No, it's not. Where is it then? What the heck? Where is it then? Mermaid, where'd you put it? Oh, general I see, probably, huh? Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's wonderful! That's a really good drawing, I love it! Thank you for sharing that with us. Look at that sweet little turtle that she's reading to. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Hi there, Nightbird. That's really cute. We need to be diligent from those who wish to harm the ducky. <laughs> Gotta be here at least 10 minutes in advance. Alright, uh, we need the prom crown? I have one. I assume I'm keeping the duck bill, so... I won't change out of that. <laughs> no one will touch the duckies. <laughs> Ever. Rosie, hi, how are you? We saved the duck, Rosie. Alright, so prom crown. Let me go right to the hat section. I have prom tiara, is that okay? The way she's reading to that tortoise. So cute, right? Thanks for asking, I'm good, but I have to go now. Alright, Rosie, thank you for, for stopping in. I hope you have a good day. Yes, hat. Which one? Silver or gold? I also have, like, royal crown. We all just need to plan our lives around Annie's stream. I mean, if you guys want to keep the ducky. <laughs> Silver one? Alright. Gotcha. Molly is an angle. <laughs> I'm on my phone. My laptop is dead. No worries. It's all good. What kind of shirt are we working with today? It's a never-ending ba battle. I fear that there's a plot to, <laughs> to destroy our ducky. You never know who might swoop in. Everyone on mobile. I'm always on mobile, and it's... Sometimes it's not that bad. <laughs> we need a dress? Ooh, cute. Alright. What kind of dress are we thinking? Long dress, short dress, any color in particular? Back in on the PC, so no delay. <laughs> Welcome back, Gabe. How are you? I've been good. Thank you for asking. Been busy with school, mostly. How about you? What have you been up to? Trump. 
tropical mini? <laughs> we need to combine points to save the duckies. But it's touch because I also have it's tough because I also have to save Wow, I also save them for puppies. Mm. I'm on both mobile and laptop? Ooh, that's dedication. Dedication? Dedication. <laughs> Should I join on mobile too? Yeah, so all of you can respond super late. <laughs> Let's go something royal to show our duck is, is a queen. Ooh, okay, something royal. We could have a Victorian dress. I have 8k saved for ducky. Oh, very good. I'm only on mobile. I hate my phone auto, correct? Mm, gotcha. We also have Renaissance dress. Looks a little royal to me. What else do we have? Oh, we have noble dress in many colors. Let's see. Just need to make it fast enough? I guess so, huh? <laughs> I still got 34.4k points I'm saving for Fruit Bird. <laughs> Fruit Bird is coming. I was working, but I quit because it was bad mentally after. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you're doing better now that you've quit. You need Daisy Duck outfit? That'd be kind of cute. <laughs> Please hurry, birdie of the fruit, soon. Oh, we also have fashionable royal dress. And three colors. The blue noble dress with the gold tiara. All right, sounds good. Blue noble dress. Gold tiara. KK Lullaby playing in the background, of course, as always. These vines are getting stuck in my hair. What else? What else can we do? We can do accessories. Of course, shoes and socks, even though you probably won't be able to see them that well. So many outfits you'll never use. <laughs> well, honestly, you guys are making me use different, different items than I would usually use. So it's honestly good. I have my Microsoft Surface literally always on lurking for my friend Paul's streamer. Friends, like, chaotic... Chaotic robs. Oh, okay. It's crazy how everyone is connected in a small... In, nice, in a nice small community. Nice, isn't it? Shoes? Alright. Yeah, I like that when, like, whole communities are kind of strung together somehow. I'm better when I started work. You started stream, so it sucked because I can watch i really liked your stream well thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate that and i hope it is better now uh use a black mask near the ducky mouth well I, I i think it's up to sam but if sam wants the black mask you can always uh do that anyways sam what are you thinking shoe wise i don't know if we have any like <laughs> royal shoes i guess we have just like some pumps that you can't really see. We have, um, what do we have? Some Mary Janes. Oh, of course we have the leopard pumps. Let's go with some heels. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. I think the only heel type of shoes I have are the pumps, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we also have these strappy heels, which yeah, you can kind of see. Kind of goes nice with the dress. Microsoft Surface Book is a powerful device. It's always running, <laughs> lurking multiple ti multiple streams. I hope I don't burn it. It's such a good. It's such a good little laptop. I really wanted a Surface. I wanted like the really square one. I loved how that one looked, but it was too expensive. Like the, the actual laptop one, you know? I didn't get the Sanrio cards. I uh, decided not to. Black Mary Janes? Alrighty. I don't know if those have heels, but... Or do you want the strappy heels? Because they go with the blue? Alright, we'll do those. 
We need ducky feet shoes. I don't think I have those. Do they exist in the game? What are you thinking accessories wise? Or do you want socks? <coughs> My throat kind of hurts. <laughs> No, but they should. Agreed. <laughs> this is a look. Did you ever finish the Avengers game? Uh, I finished the main game, yes. And I kind of decided to stop playing it on stream. I do occasionally still play it. Try the mask at least. Which one do you mean? Do you mean like this one or this one? <laughs> oh, heck. Where'd the duck bill go? Or did you mean this one? <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I never finished it on stream, but I do occasionally still play it, uh, with my boyfriend just when we feel like it. Got some good stuff coming out soon. I already got a couple spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are playing it, keep playing it, because there's good stuff coming. I never saw an Avengers stream? Really? I did them for a pretty good while. No socks? No socks. I did them for a good while, but I decided not to because a lot of you guys didn't show up for them, which I understand. If it's not your thing, then that's totally fair. And, uh, I don't know. Just was missing the interaction in it, you know? I have the Microsoft Surface Book. The one with the real keyboard that clacks properly. And good video card and RAM. Love how small it is. Light, great for travel. Got it on sale 50% off. Sick! Good deal. So you quit Avengers for the real hero, Shantae. I quit Avengers to do more... More indie games, honestly. I just wanted more indie games. <laughs> See glasses? Alright. Was I was here for them? You were. They were good. I liked them, but... I just missed the interaction with a lot of you guys with them. I never showed up. <laughs> That's okay, Uki. Maybe the rounded glasses? Alright. Are you thinking these? Those are really cute. I love these. Not enough Captain Carrot in the Avengers. Captain Carrot? Who is Captain Carrot? More into DC? I get that. I'm more into Marvel myself, but to each their own. I might try it. I might try it. I got a PC saved up while working. Oh, good. It's a really fun game. And yeah, there's some really fun stuff coming out on it soon. Uki, you know I never know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why are you still so shocked? <laughs> if I follow a streamer, I lurk regardless of content. I love supporting. I only follow a handful of streamers. I really appreciate hi there, yes, that. Hi guess, zero four. Yes, I guess. Hi, how are you? You are late, yes. <laughs> no glasses? Alright, we're doing no glasses. We do hair and skin now. Alright. Sounds good. A cute outfit. I like this one. <laughs> I can't keep it keep coming back if this is the way it's going to be. Goodbye. <laughs> well, you know I always love it when you do tell me about the things that you're excited about. But you shouldn't be surprised if I don't know. <laughs> it happens fairly frequently. Let's see here. Let's put these on. I'm having a no glasses day too. At least it isn't a horrible. Is it? It isn't as horrible today. I like having glasses on my character, but I don't like wearing them myself. They make me dizzy sometimes. <laughs> I haven't changed my bedroom at all. That's right. Maybe I should. I don't know. I like it. I like the bedroom. I think it looks cute. So skin tones. What are we thinking? Ooh, blue to go with the dress. Pale white. Kind of a Queen of Hearts uh, situation. I come home just in time for it to start raining. Ooh, good timing. It hasn't been raining here today. It's actually been really nice. Let's go with the skin color you had originally. So, I think that's the palest one. I think is the one I had. Because this doesn't look like me. That doesn't look like me. Yeah, I think it was probably the palest one. Or do you mean the green one? 
Be right back and put away my groceries. Sounds good. See you in a sec. What a cute outfit. I like this. Oh my gosh, look at how the bangs swoop. That's so cute. <laughs> Man, every time I see people with red hair, I'm like, like, bright red hair, I'm like, man, I should dye my hair red. And then I remember, I look terrible in red hair. <laughs> I had pink hair for a while, and it looked so bad on me. It's not for me. But every time, I'm like, but what if? And from now on, to put the ducky mouth on my character, and I'll be Molly's sister. Oh, cute! Uh, what games have I played since you've been uh, since you've been gone? I started playing Celeste, which has been so fun. I really love Celeste. I did my first playthrough on it, and am now collecting all the collectibles. I started playing Little Nightmares, finished Little Nightmares, started playing Little Nightmares two, and we're I think two thirds of the way in. I'm a natural redhead, and people laugh at me. I have no soul. That's so rude. I bet your red hair is beautiful. Blonde hair? Wow, who are we? This blonde or this blonde? This is the one I usually have. I did pink hair and I looked good. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it looked good on you. It's, it looks really weird on my undertones. It makes me look kind of like yellowy, which is not a good look for me. I have very like bluish undertones, so... Looking yellow just makes me look really sick. <laughs> what kind of... What hairstyle are we going for, Sam? Got some fun things to choose from. Buzz cut. <laughs> it me, but with a duck bill. <laughs> the blonde closest to the black hair? Alright. So this one then. Sounds good. Oh, how handsome. I used to have really long hair. Like, down to my waist. And I'm so glad I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I just realized, like... Don't know why I kept it that long. People kept telling me to cut it, too, and I was like, I will never cut my hair. The pigtails look cute. Pigtails are kind of cute, aren't they? Oh, bald. Aw. <laughs> That's cute. Let's go with the bun. Alright, sounds good. I think you mean this bun, right? Is there another one? I don't think so. I look like a princess. I look like a princess going to the ball. How's this, Sam? You happy with the with your choices? This is cute. <laughs> it's like a masquerade ball, but like instead of it being like an eye mask, it's 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 a it's a duck beak. If you go bald with yellow skin and red cheeks, you look like Molly. <laughs> I guess that's true, huh? Wait, let me try that real quick. I'll come back to this one, but we gotta Oh, there's no yellow skin. That's too bad. The next one over? Oh that one. I didn't even notice there was another one. Alright. Yeah, like the other one better, but if this is your, your choice, then that's all good. Haven't used this cup in a while. Still available. However. We need yellow skin, though. I mean... If we have green skin. Hey, Red Velvet. <laughs> Rain on me. <laughs> I'm a guy I had long hair once. That emo look for the girls hated. For the girls hated. Wow. 
The girls hated it with a bunch of piercings. I was a skater kid. So much work to deal with long hair. Oh my gosh, I would have loved that. Man, I had the biggest crush on this like really emo kid that, that I used to go to school with. Yeah, my headphones are wireless. The one next to it on the right? Wait, what? Isn't this the one you mean? Which one? This one doesn't have a bun. Do you mean the ponytail? Oh, the girls loved it. You hated it. Gotcha. Always got in my eyes. <laughs> when did I follow you? I'm not sure when you started following me, but you can use the command follow which and it'll show you, I'm pretty sure. This one's pretty. I like the little pieces in the front. Hi there, Lemon underscore Saeed. Hey, Lemon Seed. How are you? Four months, six days, eight hours, 27 minutes, and 13 seconds. I think Gabe is the one who has followed me the longest here. Not, not the one who... Gabe wasn't my first follower, but who's here right now. This one? All right. Lemon Seed has been here for a long time, too. That's a lie because this is my second account. Ooh, that's true. You've been here for longer than that. I think that's true. All right. This is cute. I love this. I like this outfit. Why is it not showing up? Sam's also been here for a long time. A lot of you guys have been here for a long time. I really appreciate that you guys keep coming back. Thank you for the cute outfit today, Sam. I like it. I think it's very pretty. There we go. Now it's showing up. Lemon seeds. Six months, seven days, and... Six months, one week, three hours, 52 minutes, and two seconds. Nice. Yeah, I think, Gabe, I think yours isn't working because it's like right after someone else is using it. So I think it, it, it doesn't want to work. Ooh, puppy cam. All right, Lewis. Sounds good. Oh, look at those friends. What are they doing? What are they up to? They're so busy. Yuki, five months, three weeks, almost six months. Nice. You live Chung Min or you love Chung Min? In either case, I think that's probably Hi there, true. J -F -F -Y -Y hey, Jeffrey. Jeff. <laughs> How's it going? What are you up to? How's your day? Look at these, sweetheart. Good timing, Jeff. There it is. There's the eight months. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, Gabe has been here for a very long time. Probably since, like, definitely my first 10 streams. I wonder if you came in... Did you come in for a raid? I think you might have just found me somehow. I live for Shungmin, and I love Shungmin. <laughs> That's fair. I moved 20,000 duplicates from my music collection. What? On what? those cuties what are you waiting for friends also what is up with the little one that's like <laughs> halfway laying on the basket the sweetheart he's just like my legs need to be cold but my paws need to my my front paws need to be warm they're not like my dogs they attack each other on a daily basis while i watch so rude these just have a good time on a daily basis while we watch. <laughs> now I have to sort them through decade. Amazing songs, Christmas songs, party songs, slow songs, like on my physical hard drive. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think I found you randomly on the AC section looking for a new AC streamer. Yeah, I think that's right. I had like, I had a I had a raid, I think, during my third stream from, um, what's his name? Why can I not think of it? 
it's like on the tip of my tongue. That's so annoying. He comes in here fairly, fairly regularly still. And um, I know that Inverter came over through him. I know that um, um, <laughs> that Lucky came over through him. So there's been a couple people who've been here for a very long time. I'm back until my very late lunch is done. I just had breakfast. <laughs> So I know what you mean. That guy's laying like a straight up boss. It's how lay covered up with naked feet. What? <laughs> Have a hundred thousand songs left? Where do you get all those songs from? I don't know a hundred thousand songs. I feel like Matter Eater Lad would make a fine addition to the Avengers. Too bad he's a DC character. Yeah, I think about that sometimes too, how like some characters would have just been better if they were Avengers. Or if they were in the Marvel universe. My sister trusts my little cousin more than me to watch her kids. Is she wrong though? <laughs> I have leftover Chinese food I need to finish. Ooh, yum! I would trust my cousin more than me too. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Usually I would have breakfast at 6 and lunch at 12. Really? Man, I I usually have breakfast earlier. I usually have breakfast at like 11.30. <laughs> and then I have lunch after my stream, which is usually around like, what, 4? Today I had, had breakfast at 8 and well... Lunch is on its way. Eh, not too bad. Quarter to three? Not too, too bad. It's how I, like, covered up. But have... Oh! I gotcha. When you're covered up, but you have your feet out, because it gets hot. Get it? I got it. I mean, it's like 2,000 full albums. And then a bunch of singles, hence all the duplicates. That makes sense. I guess. I'm an early bird? I guess so. What do you do so early in the morning? There's a ton of obscure metal bands out there. Uh, I guess that's true. There are a lot of those. Morel Dog, hi, how are you? Good timing with the puppy cam. <laughs> uh, everyone would be better with a superhero that possesses the power to eat matter in all forms. As do all natives <laughs> of, this, of his home planet, Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It thundered a bit as I was in the kitchen. Ooh, I love thunder. Thunder is like my favorite weather situation. I might do frosted mini wheats. <laughs> I love frosted mini wheats so much. That's pretty much my favorite cereal. I love frosted mini wheats. I open the almond milk and the box says to throw it out after two weeks from opening. Mm, that makes sense. Man, you cannot, you cannot get Frosted Mini Wheats here for some reason, and I am so jealous of you right now. Can't remember if I opened it three weeks ago. <laughs> if it still smells good and looks good and tastes good, then it's fine. So cute, I love dogs. I figured from your name. How are you today? Nothing, I do whatever I want, play games, and generally prepare for the day. That's nice. I wish I woke up earlier. I woke up- I wake up usually at 9, which... not great. <laughs> My nephew bumped his head on a little tape. Oh, what little table? I just told him how are- are you okay? But then I felt bad, so I gave him a bowl of gummy worms! Wow, I was laughing so hard. I'm a horrible uncle. <laughs> oh no! It's so hard to tell with almond milk. I mean, if it still smells good, it's usually still good, right? I'm fine with it, as long as it is in a summer storm situation. Oh, I love summer storms! That's like my favorite thing! Thunder is great when it doesn't hit your house. Also true. I've never had that happen, though. Playful fluffers. So playful! It's my favorite, too. Like, you don't understand. I'll post a picture just for you. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Imagine if we keep dreaming if we keep redeeming puppy cam for the whole stream <laughs> the whole stream is just puppy cam and words on stream that's it 
I usually wake up at either 9 or 10 p.m. though. Yeah, me too. That's kind of my time as well. I, <laughs> I once let my, sofa, my niece drop from the sofa because I wasn't paying attention when she was still a toddler. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not good with kids either. They, they scare me and I don't... Yeah. I'm not good with them. <laughs> I would, I'd love to have a kid at some point, but like other people's kids, I'm really bad with. They're so sweet, right, Mir and Morel? If you check recipes, I posted it for you. All right, I'm gonna check it out in just a sec. Morel Dog, thank you so much for following. I really appreciate that. And well, the storm itself doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the high hum humidity and sweating. Oh, I guess that's true. That's annoying. Pretty sure you wake up at 9 a.m. though, Annie. I wake up like between 9 and 10 usually. Got 34.6k points. I'm willing to make the whole stream fruit bird. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check the picture in the Discord real quick and then we'll get on with the, the game. Yeah, recipes. I should have just a dedicated food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Genuine? Wow. Lewis, that is amazing. I wish I was I wish I was you. <laughs> That's so many boxes. Is that five whole boxes? That's amazing. Man, I'm so jealous. Mommy dog, big pupper. <laughs> it's so much. It's so much cereal, but it looks so good. Frosted mini wheats are amazing. My cousin is like eight or ten. I'm such a bad uncle. <laughs> nine to ten a.m. I wake up at nine to ten p.m. Oh. I guess that is a little bit of a different situation. Love my snacks. Honestly, cereal is so good. I love cereal. Alright, let's get back to the game. <laughs> Say bye to the puppies, even though mommy just came through. The best thing about being an ant, you can buy you can buy them whatever you want and spoil them. And if they cry or need to be changed, they have their mother to do that. Exactly! <laughs> Peace out, puppers. See you next time. It's so convenient. Ah it's Saturday. Apparently. Let me check real quick when um, Rocket's birthday is. Yeah, I guess my island does like look like what it looks like for you now, huh? 14th. And today is the 11th. Okay. So we gotta stay in this timeline for a little longer. Just when, it, just when Cam was getting good, you take it away. Gotta keep him wanting more, right? <laughs> going to be, I'm going to eat. I'll be lurking. I got a bowl now. People judge me on my frosted mini wheats, but I don't care. I'm not judging you. I think it's amazing. Have a good meal. <laughs> Inverter's here. Is that what you mean, or is it? Did, did you mean something else? <laughs> Was Marvel Squirrel Girl ever an Avenger? Not yet. At least not in the MCU. Can't miss Mother Rocket's birthday. Must bring offerings to the Holy Mother. <laughs> oh, you guys are too much. <laughs> Gosh, I love that emote though. A rocket! A rocket for a rocket! A rocket for a rocket! A rocket for a rocket! <laughs> uh, frosted mini wheats are the cereal with the white frosting. Yeah, for sure. Heck! I don't have enough money yet. Wait, I gotta go get money. Also, the little, the little yellow mi mixer.
broke my heart. Anyone remember the Cartoon Network show Squirrel Boy? Yes, I do. I vaguely remember that. You hate them? How could you hate Frosted Mini Weeps? They're amazing. I love Frosted Mini Weeps. Not enough frosting for my sweet tooth. I just love how it sucks up the milk, but just like, it doesn't really get soggy. It just, you know? <laughs> it just sucks up the milk in just the right way. It's like a little sponge. They taste like the bland part of Chex Mix covered in frosted sugar. Yes, but they suck up the milk. <laughs> you guys aren't understanding the magic of frosted mini weeps. <laughs> All right, let's get this rocket for rocket. I don't remember how much it was. My fave cereal is from a German company. Which one is it? Do they go snack crackle kaboom? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. Why is it so cold in my house? Not convinced. <laughs> well, it's not that they really like crackle. It's more, they're crunchy, but like, in a way how, like in the same way as how a, croiss a croissant is crunchy because it has like a hundred thousand layers. It's the, it's the same type of crunchy. <laughs> I hate frosted mini wheats, but I love the healthy Cheerios. Ooh, Cheerios are so good too. Gotcha. I'll check when I get my lunch. I'm not remembering the name right now. That's okay. They aren't cookie. I don't like cookie crisp. Cookie crisp is not for me. I don't know. It just, it doesn't taste like cookies. Quick, everyone send Annie 10 boxes of frosted mini weeds for a mukbang stream. No. No. I will not be doing a mukbang stream, or a mukbang, or whatever you're supposed to call it. Absolutely not. I already feel uncomfortable during my baking streams when I take a bite of something. Anyone remember the chocolate strawberry Batman cereal? I don't think we have that here, but that sounds terrible. Yeah, no, Jeff. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's just no way. I don't know why I keep looking in here. There's never anything I want. I have yet to take part in a baking stream. Big fan. <laughs> I, I also haven't really been doing baking streams as often anymore. I think I want to kind of change that up too, because they're honestly like a lot of work to set up. And they like take a lot of energy. So I think I might make it like a channel point redemption situation. Instead of like doing them every other week, because they just take up a lot of energy. Why is Batman strawberry flavored? That's also a good question. Why would Batman be strawberry flavored? <laughs> Frozen pizza baking stream. That could work. <laughs> we could do that. No, I don't know. Oh, look at Rocket. She looks so content. Well, look who it is. Hey, Chief. Haven't talked to you in a bit. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yes, I guess. Why? Why would you say something like that? <laughs> Why? Yes, cookies afterwards, but like... Say hi to your mom? I did see her this morning. We went to TK Maxx. <laughs> I guess it's true. I guess it's true, but I wish you wouldn't have said it. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. Uh, there you go, Rocket. I told Ripper to say hi. Oh, that's what you mean. There you go, Rocket. I've been eyeballing this forever. Thanks a ton. Hmm, if I move back here and the other thing over there... 
gonna have to do this right, you know? While we're at it, here's a little something from me to you. I ripped... <laughs> I ripped the cord from my controller. <laughs> Oops. I got really excited. <laughs> Rocket's photo! Finally! What a time! <laughs> that's 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 what you need to do. If you give if you give the character their name things things that are the same name, then that's that, that that's how you get the picture. Someone clip at my PC so they won't let me. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that brings my mind back to when Valerio Zeno and what's the other guy ate their other humans' meat. What? And it went over the internet internationally? That's disturbing, first of all. The intro for Super Bass by Nicki Minaj traumatizes me. Man, I love Nicki Minaj. Is it BNN thing? That sounds really weird. was a pleasure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading comments that I missed <laughs> from the excitement. All right. Now we can put Rocket's picture on the Hall of Fame. Wall of Fame. Oh, that's right. I also still had some stuff in my, uh, Inbox. Did you know that starships were meant to fly? Hands up and touch the sky. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Oh god, okay. Maybe maybe I will make a graveyard? That sounds cool. Two Dutch TV presenters who had pieces of their flesh surgically removed and later cooked and ate them. Ew! Oh god, no, that's terrible. Before a live studio audience have told have been told they will not be persecuted for cannibalism, the, pr the program Pufkonina, which translates as guinea pigs, showed Dennis Storm and Valerio Zeno sitting down by candlelight to eat the little pork ugh, which had been lightly sautéed in sunflower oil with the help of a professional chef. God, that's terrible. Ew. What the heck? What made them do that? Do they need all the villager photos that left? Oh, for your graveyard. <laughs> Let's go to the beach, eat. Yeah, that that's <laughs> Thanks for the info, but that's terrible. It's a Dutch TV poof and they did all kinds of stupid stuff. I guess so. I'm glad I never watched that. I'm glad I'm not like a Bayonet type of person. <laughs> Uki, thank you for the clip. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> not a proud moment to be Dutch, honestly. All right, yes, I guess. See you in a sec. What part of their body and how big are we talking? I mean, I guess we're gonna keep... I guess we're gonna keep talking about this. How's that? Okay, that works. Oop. Turn that back around. I love Bang, bang Chan. All right. Oh, I think you told me about that last time. 
the hiccups. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. <laughs> this place looks cute. Thank you. I haven't changed up this room like in forever. Maybe I should at some point, but I think it looks nice. BTR is in big time rush. <laughs> if it's not be in big time rush, I'm not interested. Alright, let's get this. And from Patty, we also got a little gift. What's up, DJA? The umbrella I thought I lost totes in my house all of a sudden. Like, it, <laughs> it must have ran off and partied while I went and bought a new one, then showed back up. Now I'm giving it to you. Enjoy the umbrella, Patty. Cute. Basically the size of a diced bacon cube. And I guess... Ugh. ugh. Ew, 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 ew. It's... <laughs> like... Ew. <laughs> you guys can read the comments. I'm not going to read it anymore. I do appreciate the information, but I can't bring myself to read it. Pink umbrella. Cute. How convenient. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it, 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 you were asked. Uki asked you about it, but like, <laughs> don't know anyone from Big Time Rush. Uh, what's the guy, with the guy, what's the guy with the light brown hair? What's his name? Guess I guess he's the one who brought my head back to 2012. <laughs> I had to know how they healed. That's a good question. I, I'd assume that they got like a scar from it, but like, probably not a big piece, I guess. You forget their names. You love James. Is James the one with the light brown hair? Listen, okay, wait. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. I got something to show you that's big time rush related. Be back in just a sec. All right, I'm back. Check it out. Can you see that? Yes. <laughs> it's a big time rush shirt, but it's like metal themed. <laughs> I, I I felt like I needed to show. Hello? <laughs> Why? Well, you see, because of that. <laughs> Because that was also my question. Why? Why does this exist? <laughs> Let me see here. Took me a minute to figure out what body part that was. Isn't that just the butt? I'm back and I forgot to check the serial name. Oh no! That's okay. It's a short one. <laughs> I'm scared, please care- Please- I'm scared, please scare me. I mean, I guess it's scary. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, big time rush. Let's see. Need a, beat, a big time rush cardboard cutout? I'm assuming that you're talking about big time rush, by the way. It might be something else. <laughs> but I did absolutely feel the need to let you guys know 
that I have not one but two of those sharks. So, there. Also, I'm out of breath. Ooh, pretty. Because <laughs> I had to, like, run up the stairs to go and get it. That's it. That's all I like from the store. Need to find one? For sure. You should. Big time rush metal shirt is an autofill result? Really? I know that I, I got it off of Etsy, and I know she also has um, One Direction versions of it. Which is so funny to me. I just think they're so cute. Ooh, the reason I got that mixer is because I want to go give it to Molly. <laughs> because I think it would look cute in her house. Oh my goodness, Molly, don't you look cute in that little hat? Ugh. <laughs> Great to see you, Annie Bunrilla. What are, we, what are you calling me? Yes. Yes, friend, I do want to give you something, specifically a stand mixer, because I think it'd look cute in your house. A stand mixer? You really want to give this to me? Found a few different ones for the shirts? Really? Thanks so much, I love that color. I've been looking for things like this to use as accents in my place. I have something here for you. A pants, pants press. Thanks, Molly. It's cool. Excuse me, she has a froggy umbrella. I totally didn't forget I made coffee like an hour and a half ago. That sounds like me. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow her real quick because look at that cute little umbrella she's holding. I love that. Alright, let's get the DIY. I feel very like, there's some type of aesthetic that I'm feeling right now with the dress and the umbrella and the rain. <laughs> there's something going on here. Can't forget you made coffee when you don't make coffee. Yes, I guess that's true. You can still forget you made tea though, which might be even worse. Like cold coffee is one thing, but cold tea, that's just a bummer proceeds to drink the cold coffee anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> I have my other cup up here from yesterday. Excuse me. Cold coffee club. Or crew, excuse me. Hey, Jukebox, how you doing? This boy left me on red for five days. Should I block him? How many messages did you send? And what was the vein of the message? I don't mind cold tea. I guess iced tea, but iced tea is different. Well, Jeff, you can find it in the link for my merch. I sell them there. There's also shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. That are all cold coffee crew. Just log everyone, isolate yourself. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I leave people on red all the time just because I forget to respond. So like, if you only sent one message, maybe try. Yeah, there's only one option for the mugs. That is a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, I think for coffee, these are pretty good. Like they're pretty, I think it's a good sized coffee cup. But I wish there was more options. Cause like, I would like a really big teacup option. That'd be nice. Do I have a smaller mug? Um, for espressos. <laughs> you know, for when you drink your espresso cold. I drink my coffee in half liters. I drink my tea in half liters. Jeff, do you know the, the brand Blunt? You don't drink espresso out of a mug though. Oh, out of a little tiny mug. <laughs> Uh, well, I asked him if he wanted to come over tomorrow, and he said, yeah. Then the next day, I said, want to come right now. Then he ignored me and said, hey, 
a few hours later. I said, hey, then said, what are you doing? Then he ignored me for five days. That's weird. I'd ask him what's up. Like, wh why? Why? Why is he ignoring you? I think that's the most straightforward way to go about it. Do you play Friday Night Funkin'? No, but we were talking about that yesterday. Who started that? Someone talked. To someone started talking about that yesterday. If he refuses to come over, block him. Yeah, but first figure out why. Like, if he just feels uncomfortable, then that's fair, you know? But, like, if it's just him leading you on, then for sure, block him. You can't get him to do what you want, end it all. <laughs> oh, well, Blunt is this, um... I don't feel like grabbing a cup. It's um, a brand for, like, ceramics and stuff. It's uh, a Dutch brand, all, like, handmade and stuff. They sell it at, like, the bag orphan and things like that. They're really nice, and they have these really big mugs that I use for my tea. They're also half liters. Find you a man who will give in to your every desire. <laughs> Chic Cosmos Reef. Ooh, cool. Even I don't know it, I'm a duchy. Oh. Well, I don't know. They're cute. I, I, you should look them up. They're like these hand-painted mugs and like plates and bowls and they have all kinds of ceramics. I thought they were really popular, but apparently not as popular as I, as I had imagined. Uki, what do you want to know? Give me something in Dutch. Or something to translate to Dutch. First jukebox. I hope it works out for you. I hope it's just nothing, you know, just a little bit of a weird situation. Je ne parle pas français. Uh, <laughs> well, if you want me to literally translate that, that would be Exprès Crain France. Which. <laughs> the, the, I have a, a little bit of a funny backstory for that. Not a backstory, but story to go with it, I guess. Um, but before I do, let me explain the sentence I just said. It is exprès crain France, which is I don't speak French. Um, if you want it to be I don't speak Dutch, that would be exprès crain Nederlands, or English would be exprès crain Engels. Anecdote. So, my Dutchies here <laughs> will know uh, the song Spreek Nederlands, or what is it? Praat Nederlands met me? Praat Nederlands met me, which was a really big song a um, couple summers ago, probably like four summers ago now, maybe three. In any case, a while ago, and it was about uh, a, a Dutch guy in France. Is that what it was called? I thought it was just called Praat Nederlands met me. But yeah, Paris can be. <laughs> oh yeah, 18 times. So anyways, it was a song about a Dutch guy in France, in Paris specifically, um, asking another girl to speak Dutch to him instead of speaking French or English or whatever. <laughs> so that reminded me of this. Don't really listen to Dutch music, but I should know it. You probably know it. It, w it was one of those songs that you couldn't have missed. 2015? Molly, are you singing? Oh, oh yes, she is. Cute. 2015. Oh my gosh. That's six summers ago. Yikes. <laughs> I thought it was more recent than that. Can I have to use that now? Which one? Alright, so this bunny day forest situation is looking really good. Especially in the rain like this. I like it. But I need more. Yes. <laughs> Such a song exists in German too, but with a girl asking a guy. Really? I didn't know about that. So that would be... Speak, speak German with me? <laughs> Let's see here. Let me find some stuff in my inventory that would look kind of creepy for my creepy bunny day forest. I made some mushroom stuff if I can find it. If I still have any. It's 
Sprach in Deutsch mit mir. <laughs> mit mich. What is it? <laughs> I'm, I, my German is really bad. I think I'll grab this bunny day stool. Because it looks fun. And I think it would go well in the weird forest. What else, though? What things would look weird? Like, kind of eerie, kind of creepy. Definitely a bear. But I'm not seeing any bears that I want there. I want, like, a baby bear in it. Grab a couple more bunny day trees. Bunny day garden flag. Ooh. Festive balloons. This is all very festive, though. Which is not what we're going for. We're going for eerie, creepy, weird. <laughs> Knife block. <laughs> it's giving me Frankfurt versus Sautolomne. Oh my gosh, Sautolomne was a problem. Sautolomne was a problem. <laughs> Didn't we literally steal that from German? Because I'm pretty sure we did. The premise isn't exactly the same, as the girl basically goes, Je ne parle pas français, but please keep keep on talking. Everything that you say sounds so fascinating. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. That's a cute, that's a cute story. Don't really like it? Which one's out alone? Je ne parle pas français. Mika or Mika, I don't know the name. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Definitely gonna need some music going on. So let me grab two amps. We did, yes. Well, and then we figured spice it up with a Flemish girl. Oh gosh. That was a weird one. Didn't that get to like in the top 10 of the Top 2000, like, two years ago. Everyone who's not Dutch right now is like, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah, so Zoutelomne was basically a... Yeah, Frankfurt Oder? Is that what the original was called? Um, But Bluff just kind of took it and ran with it. They were like, we can make this sound Dutch. <laughs> And then they did. Ooh, bugs. Yes. No! What do you mean my pockets are full? Rude. There you go. Thanks, Rosie. these DIYs real quick. Uh, I, I don't think... So. I'm not sure if it was based on the place or not. I think that was just the name of the song. There we go. Now I have a little more space in my inventory. Not what I meant to do. Toy centipede, absolutely need. The dolls are overused. Don't want to use the dolls. It's like, ooh, creepy doll. <laughs> like, yeah, we get it. But what about creepy forest? Oh, so it was based on that. Gnomes is fun. I like these pointing gnomes. Yeah, the pointing gnomes are going to be good. Those will work well for this. Alright, I have two more spots in my pockets to fill. What are we gonna fill it with? Ooh! Bears! There they are. <laughs> I don't know how they got that. 
Fun fact about South and on the they really hated the publicity the song gave the village. Really? Why? Alright. Going into the forest. Hey Floral Crossing, how are you? Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate that. How are you today? Alright, so the garden gnomes need to be, like, pointing at us, you know? Oh my gosh, put the umbrella away. Good? Good to hear it. I'm doing well, too. Just hanging out, making a creepy... <laughs> this, like, forest situation. Let's see here. I want one over here. Because everyone and their mom went to visit the beach there. Really? I guess so, huh? I guess that would be, like, kind of a problem. It doesn't really look like they're pointing as much as that they're, like, trying to shake your hand. But that's kind of weird, too, so I'm good with that. And then one over here. Actually, one like right there in the back to just kind of be looming. Or... No, here. <laughs> this is where I want it to be. Where's the other one? There it is. Yes. Hi, Molly. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there, Molly. <laughs> uh, they abbreviated it to Frankfurt Oder, and Zoutelon that has the same number of syllables. Plus, it's a village in Zeelon, where Bluff is from, so they could find their inspiration from a place close to home. That's kind of cool. I kind of don't mind that. Lesson of the day. Humans are human-flavored. Don't shake random forest gnomes' hands. <laughs> If a forest gnome sticks her hand out at you, run. Hi, Lolly. You're coming over here, too? Friends. Alright, some bears. Because <laughs> we can't have a forest without, without bears here. Where am I putting the bears? I think I want one behind this tree. I can get there. Here, a balloon. Let me grab it. Man, this has been a weird stream so far. We're only an hour and a half in. <laughs> we've talked about South Alumna, we've talked about human flavored people, and scary garden gnomes. Scary forest gnomes, excuse me. I hear the balloon, but I do not see it. You had lunch? What'd you have for lunch? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I love this weird forest. Nuggies and chips? Ooh, yummy. That sounds good. Exercise bike. Alright. I guess. Hmm. I think towards the weekend I'm gonna make some noodles. Hi there, Proud Ooh, Trico. Yummy. Hey, Proud Trico! Welcome on in! How are you? We briefly hit Paris, cold coffee, and dairy can sized mugs. I mean, what more could you ask for in the stream? <laughs> A bike for our jock, of course, of course. Trico, how was the rest of your stream? I'm sorry I had to go. I had a, pack a package come in. I'm great, exhausted, but otherwise great. Good to hear it. I'm glad you're doing well. Let's see here. I'm doing good. Just hanging out, you know. Making a creepy bunny day forest. As one does. Okay, I 
I got myself stuck. <laughs> this is a problem. I'm stuck in the forest. Yeah, we'll put something else here. Stream was, was great, actually. Got a nice raid and stuff. Ended early because I could barely sit up. Oh, really? Yeah, I did see the raid. I was there for that. That's a good size raid. What do you mean there's no room here? Sure there is. Just put it there. Pimper chocolate glazed raspberries for dessert? Yum! That sounds good. Can I still pass through here? I can. But it just looks so out of place here. Maybe I can put it here. Yes. That's it. That's good. I like that. Man, chocolate raised raspberries sounds so good. I still have some strawberries in the fridge. Maybe I'll have some chocolate covered strawberries in a little bit. Imagine Leaf, but he sells, but he only sells shrubs that have the current in season flower at all times, or has no flowers. Why is everyone here, guys? Leave, please. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I think we talked about this before, the raspberries over strawberries situation. I agree in most cases. My dad has a wonderful um, raspberry bush in his garden. So good. This like huge raspberry bush that produces hundreds of raspberries every year. Really good stuff. Alright, so I got these bunny day balloons. Uh, by the way, Annie, congrats on the good news. No more annoying things. Oh, yeah! Like, four-hour advance reservations for ten minutes of shopping. And I'm gonna get my vaccine soon! <laughs> Which I'm so excited for. I, I'm one of the people who um, always gets the flu shot. Um, in the Netherlands, I'm not sure how that is in other countries, but um, we get um, if you have certain uh, certain problems you'll be asked to come and get a flu shot so not everyone usually gets them I'm not that old no but uh, since I have asthma I'm one of the people who's always asked to come and get the flu shot so they are going to ask people who usually get the flu shot to also come and get the COVID vaccine soon which Yay! <laughs> that means I won't have to wait as long as all my other age group people. Thanks. I'm very excited about that, because that's been a big thing, and I've been very <laughs> anxious to get it. I did two COVID tests yesterday, which was probably excessive, but, like, I felt the need to. <laughs> you can now um, buy COVID tests for at home at the um, drugstore so I got two of them and did two of them on myself which I tested negative so that's very good you don't have the vaccine happening there yet fly back to America for a day we'll hook you up honestly America has been doing so good with the vaccines I'm so jealous of you guys nice job man Biden has been doing such a good job I am very excited that he is president and that he's doing such a good job, and I am proud that I voted for him. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good to have a president who knows what's going on. Who knows how to deal with situations. America's been hoarding the Euro vaccine supply. That's kind of true. I'll be still here in December waiting. Very true. That's probably exactly what's going to happen, and I do feel sorry for you guys who are not going to get them soon, because I know there's a big group of people who won't. Uh, listen, if they are fresh, then that is a different story, for sure. Fresh raspberries and strawberries are just game changers. Uh, did you all hear the news about the cop that killed George Floyd? I did! What a good week for news! Yes, I did hear about that. Finally, justice on that front. 
I mean, it took them long enough for sure, but... And I know a lot of people have also been saying, you know, you threw away the, the you threw away the bad apple, but the orchard's ro rotten. Wow, could have said that a little more eloquently. <laughs> they threw away the bad apple, but the orchard's rotten. But I am glad to see that change is happening. You know. So yes, I was very excited to see that this morning. Fantastic news. It's uh, a big step in the right direction. We don't come here for eloquency. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm glad the bar is low. The cockroach doesn't really show up there. Just take that and put it somewhere else. It is a start though, and if it keeps pushing that in that direction, yeah, that would be wonderful. And I, I really genuinely hope it does. Hey, Charlie Jarvis, good morning. How are you? The cockroach really doesn't show up here, does it? If you see a cockroach in the forest, run. <laughs> uh, and then also hearing that Biden approves of that decision, that was so sweet. Man, what a nice situation. What a nice change, isn't it? Good. Good to hear it. I'm doing well, too. You yeah, know, just making a creepy forest. <laughs> it's like hot roach. There it is. Let's see if it shows up where I put it now. Yeah, that's better. That's working. If you see anything in the forest, run. If you see this forest specifically, run. <laughs> Put the toy centipede here. Nice. Yeah, this is becoming the eerie forest I'm looking for. Got one more toy cockroach to deal with. Maybe I'll put that over here. Kind of hidden in a corner. We talked about Pokemon Snap earlier. Are you normally a fan a Pokemon fan? I was a really big fan of the show. There's no room. <laughs> um, but I never really got into the games to be honest. Although I really did enjoy um what you call it? Pokemon Go. That was a good time. Um, I did always want to get into the Pokemon games, though, and I still might do that at some point. Needs that Egyptian pharaoh, uh, pharaoh head statue. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea. Do I have that? I don't think so. Right here, a balloon. Where are ya? Where is it? There it is. Dropped out after season season one of the show, and the games never really caught my eye. Hmm. I liked. I really enjoyed the show growing up, so I think that was a big part of it for me. I also had like a ton of Pokemon cards. That was a big thing for me. Wow, thirty thousand bells. Give her a backlog into next year. Honestly, you guys already have. <laughs> the only reason I played Diamond on the DS was because of the cool Pokey Watch thing they had on the bottom screen. Oh, that's right. The DS was a really good one, honestly. That was such a good console. Friends, you're kind of in the way here. Diamond remakes in autumn? Oh, cool. Let's see here. Let me put the bunny day school over here. Yeah, that looks good. What else do we got? We got another baby bear. We got lots more alarm clocks. A couple more trees that we could put in here. Some amps for music. Alright. This forest feels like Alice in Wonderland. 
Yeah, kind of, right? It's just that, like, there's something weird going on here, situation. Friends, you're never over here. <laughs> Why are you all standing in my way right now? I'll go talk to them. This island's got a ton of cool flowers I've never grown before. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with them. Could you grow a hyacinth for me? I'm making tomato bisque. And I want a hyacinth for garnish. Oh, that's cute. And uh, maybe we might even see you in Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. We say, gotta catch them all. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm open to whatever games you guys suggest. Only asking because the real appeal of Pokemon Snap is that it's basically the most real animal type behavior and environment Pokemon are ever shown with outside of the show. So probably mostly only really for diehard fans. Oh, that makes sense. Look at- I have four villagers standing right next to me here. That's so strange. Monster Hunter Rise isn't my tea. <laughs> well, maybe not whatever you suggest, but I mean, I did play the KFC dating game, so pretty much. <laughs> Don't give Uki suggestions. Fine, everything- everything you guys suggest except for Uki. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I did play that game. It was fun. I played it for, um, Valentine's Day this year. I don't know why you weren't there. Also, I think I'm going to take a quick bathroom break here. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Just a sec. I'm back. <laughs> Let's see here. They want your autograph because you're such a celebrity. Who wants whose autograph? <laughs> what do you mean? I haven't played Stardew Valley. Um, I don't know. It's just... I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> I don't really like the art style that much. And it's kind of overwhelming whenever I see other people play it. Like, it seems like it's a lot. Hey, Gabby! How are you? Oh my gosh, that emote's so cute. Little rainbow cat with the hearts. 
Don't suggest Uki, they're not a game. <laughs> Uki, the game. Whisper your suggestions to me and she won't suspect a thing. <laughs> no more trust. Trust is gone. I feel generally overwhelmed with Stardew, but I like watching it. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like it's just a lot to learn. <laughs> Living your best day? That's awesome. What are you up to today? What does your best day entail? I'm doing good. You know, just hanging out, having a good time with you guys. I just remembered I forgot to shout you out on my stream. No worries, no worries. <laughs> Please don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, Trico. Had no school? Oh, sick. Are you in high school? Hold up, let me get this straight. You want me to break my back raisin and hyacinth to use as garnish? Good enough. <laughs> well, I'd only need one. No way, every flower is my friend. I'm not gonna just let you serve them next to a... Wait, did you say tomato bisque? <laughs> I feel generally overwhelmed with AC, but I still force myself to play the game. I feel like AC is just... There's not that much going on, you know? Like, there's not that many things that you have to do in a day. I feel like in Stardew, there's so much. Actually, I didn't shout out Trico either. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> they were playing uh, Tony Hawk this morning. Good times. Trico is not mod. Impossible. <laughs> I wouldn't let- I wouldn't have Trico as a mod, because Trico already mods for so many people. Already does too much. There you go. Just for that, be right back. <laughs> when is- when is I'll play anything playing Terraria? Not sure. I have been thinking about Terraria. Maybe. It's my feeling with Celeste. It's so much to deal with. And so quick. Yeah, Celeste is- also overwhelming, but in a different way. May sound like henna a week before she modded me. <laughs> well, th the thing is, first of all, I don't really need mods that much. Like, I have Inverter as my mod. Technically, Lucky is also a mod, but he's never here. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't... It, it's, it's all good. Trico loves modding. I, I think probably true, but, like, Trico already mods for, like... How many people do you mod for? I feel like you mod for, like, six people. I might check out Terraria at some point. Wait, did you say tomato bisque? Uh, wow, I haven't had that in forever. That sounds delicious. Oh, thanks, and it's all yours for the low price of a single hyacinth. About nine. Oh my gosh. Just one hyacinth, huh? I mean, I guess that's not so much. Oh, then for dessert I can make a lemon sorbet. Mm, this will be so good, Rocket. Then we can discuss the hyacinth potpourri I want your help with. For that, I think, I, I think I'll need about 84. Now I'm counting all my mod duties and damn. You guys mod? For, uh, Jeffrey, you mod for people too? Replace AC with Terraria? I don't think that'll happen anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I think AC will continue to be my main game, at least for now. Oh my gosh, they're so chatty today. Look at that. She didn't like that anything. I do like it. <laughs> Rocket is bribed, honestly, though. I'll get overwhelmed with Terraria? Probably. I haven't looked into Terraria that much, so... I'm not, like, already overwhelmed with it. Like, I feel like every time I watch people play um, Stardew Valley, it's like... There's so much that they're doing, I guess. There's so many, like, tools that they're holding and tasks that they know that they need to do or something. I just... Yikes. Technically, like, eight or nine. But the Dutch ones I haven't been to in ages, so three to four actively. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Still, that's a lot. Let's see here. Alright, so we gotta add some music here, which I think I wanna add... 
in places where you can't really see it that well. So like behind this tree, I think is a good place for it. You mod for one person? I don't mod for anyone. I mod for myself. <laughs> Does that count? Don't mod? It's a lot of work hi, to inverter mod for people. 17. Speaking of mods, hi, Inverter. <laughs> How you doing? Like, I don't like the direction they're going in, so rip me in, I guess. That's fair. You shouldn't have to mod if you don't like the direction people are going in. Unless I'm missing someone, I mod for 11 currently? That's a full-time job! My goodness. I watch other streams fairly frequently. I mean, I was in Trico's this morning. And I watch Katie's stream often. Uh, Katie Argo. Hello. Is the amp not a music thing? I thought the amp made music, but I guess not. thought it did. Huh, guess not. Uh, I was also in uh, Tickets Tom's stream this morning. I've been trying to watch streams more often as well. And somehow Trico streams while modding for three people. Jeez. Gabby, are you a streamer? Then I venture to them, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I'm in a lot of Animal Crossing streams fairly frequently. A lot of streams from, like, you guys. I, I like going to, um, to Loki Yuke's stream. She has such a good music stream. I really enjoy hers. So, you know, spend about eight hours a day on here or so. Yes, literally a full-time job. Literally, though. I almost offered to mod, a mod for my newly partnered friend the other day. You need to chill, bud. <laughs> like, it's really nice of you to be doing all that, but that's a lot of responsibility to take on. There's a point where I was like, mod admin tech support in like 20 Discord servers. Oh my goodness. I found out. What the heck was that sound? That was really weird. Anyways, I found out why Kirsten jumped from my Kaparaha. Kaparaha. Annie. Oh, why is it? I had a curse on an Eevee, but apparently to jump it needs to be the same Pokemon or its baby form. Oh, that makes sense. Tell us why. We'll mod for food. <laughs> Wait, tell us why what? We'll mod for home-baked cookies. <laughs> the best I can do is baking streams. I mean, technically for Jeff. You live not that far away from me. What was I doing? What was I doing? Hey, yes, I guess it's on. <laughs> what was I doing? Why am I here? Why did I go into my house? What is that sound? I have so many questions. Another IRL, IRL friend in the chat. Uh, no, not here. Oh, oh no, uh, Jeff just lives close to me. <laughs> I think we were talking about that the other day during one of my baking streams. We were talking about how he lives fairly close to here. Uh, honestly, there's, here's partly why I do it. When I'm in a friend's chat and someone is antagonizing, disrespecting them, I really want to step in and be like, no, stop it or get out. And super protective and modding makes that a simple task. That's fair. I feel like people are so kind in here. Like, there's barely ever a moment when I'm, like, in a bad situation on stream. I feel like it's so nice here. So, like, 45 to 60 minutes. I guess that's true. <laughs> Still a little bit of time, but fairly close com compared to, like, well, <laughs> Inverter, who probably lives about 12 hours away from me, by plane. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yes, I guess, uh, got the friend code. Maybe it's time to buy your affection, too. Man, if you want it, you can have it. You can get it for the low, low price of 15k, which I know you have, like, almost three times over. Lori, hi, how are you? I cannot remember what I was trying to do in here. What was I going for? Minecraft mod pack stream when? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to be streaming like 24-7 with all these with all these recommendations. <laughs> also humble brag, but my record for modding while streaming is four. Four? <laughs> doing good? Good to hear it. Glad you're here, Maury. How's work been? I'm doing good. You know, just hanging out, having a good time. Back to breeding, but for a female cuff hunt. All right, good luck with that. We meet again. <laughs> 24 hours stream win, by the way. As if, as if I didn't already die after five hours. <laughs> My Piotr, what is a Piotr? Oh, a computer needs to restart to be right back. All right, sounds good. See you in a sec. We recommend it. We recommend in. We're recommending into the next decade. Honestly, though, <laughs> we just want to control what you play. Well, I mean, you can't. You guys can to a certain degree, but like, there's a lot. <laughs> Highest viewer count I ever modded at the same time was like 450. Not while streaming, while playing games with one of the streamers. 450 is a lot, man. You die only if it ex if it's exactly five hours, as far as we know. So far, under five hours has been an option, but we haven't ever tried over five hours, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Speaking of 24-hour stream, you guys coming to the one Saturday for the dog rescue? Question mark? My time at Porsche stream when? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe someday. I cannot figure out what I went into my house for. How about four hours, 59 minutes? I mean, I've om honestly already almost done that on accident. When, like, playing Celeste, somehow I end up going for a long time. Oh, I remember what I was here for. The amps. The amps need to go, and I need to replace them for something that actually makes music. That's what it was. We still good there? <laughs> All good. Whisper it to me. Don't advertise it in here, actually. <laughs> That's all good. Don't you worry about it. I don't mind supporting other people's uh, streams. No problem. Don't worry about it. So can understand how people can still have energy for 12 to 24 hour streams no idea i mean gosh i love streaming i really do but that's a long time to be talking i mean and then of course there's ludwig who we don't talk about <laughs> ludwig did you guys pop into that stream at any point do you guys know what i'm talking about even i mean it's hard to not know what i'm talking about at this point I did a nine and a half hour one day without water and one single bathroom break. Excuse me, Trico, you need to care for yourself. You can't just do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I can't even do my usual two and a half hour streams without water. It's just I see all you guys in the same streams. It's crazy. Literally, though, that was so funny when you came into Trico's stream today. <laughs> you can stream like seven hours without dying. But the thing is, I get kind of bored. I don't necessarily get bored. I just... I, it, it takes a lot of energy for me sometimes, you know? Like, I enjoyed the five-hour stream, but I don't think much longer than that would be fun for me anymore. I think that would really hurt my voice a lot. And, like... Because I... Without really knowing it, I bring my voice up a lot higher when I stream than when I just talk normally. So, like, I think that would be pretty bad for me if I would go for, like, 12 hours or something like that. Don't act like you weren't awake for 12 hours. I mean, 
I usually do drink water and go to the bathroom. Your coffee would be literally ice cold. At that point, yes. <laughs> I don't fake my voice. I just kind of, when I talk a lot and like am excited about something, my voice goes up a lot higher. So, like, let me try to bring it down to where my voice normally is. I think my voice is normally around here, which, as you can hear, is a lot deeper. And when I'm streaming, my voice kind of goes up like this. <laughs> Which is not something I do on purpose, it's just like, what happens, I guess. Just have coffee, I uh, just have someone bring my coffee. I mean, I drank my coffee this time, it's gone. <laughs> Feel flattered that you like us and get excited, for sure. I get really excited when, when I talk to you guys and I really enjoy streaming, so like, I get excited and my voice goes up high like that. <laughs> So if she has a man's voice, you're a boring her. <laughs> well, usually I'd be really tired. Like, you guys can, can probably notice every once in a while my voice kind of drops a little lower. And that's when I just get tired, you know? <laughs> you guys are learning too much. <laughs> I got told on a Discord call yesterday that my off-stream voice is lower. But I feel like that's pretty common. Right? Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like once you like start talking a lot, that's pretty common for your voice to go up a lot higher. Yeah, your voice is deep. That's right. You hear a man's voice. She's tired of dealing with you. <laughs> once again, not tired of dealing with you, just tired in general. Need to be and breed three coffin to get a female? That's a lot. <laughs> Watch my voice just suddenly drop down here. <laughs> like I'm done streaming, I don't feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> when you hear Barry White, she will ban you within the next two minutes. <laughs> my voice drops down like this, you know you're in trouble. Oh, well, that's not that bad then. If you have to breed 17 Eevees, then three Cuffins isn't bad. It's like we act on stream, but in a biopic playing ourselves. Just have to be more animated for an audience. We are entertainers at, after all. Yeah, I think that's, that's an accurate depiction of what it's like to be a streamer. It's just like, it is the real you. It's not like I'm playing someone else. It's just more of me <laughs> I guess in a way it's like a more intense version of me because like <laughs> in my everyday life I'm pretty like quiet I guess like I, I'm not really like super upbeat in my everyday life that is why it's so draining yeah, exactly. It's like, it's it's giving a lot of yourself, which is really fun, and I really enjoy doing it, but it is a lot, you know? Now we breed Eevee and Cuffant until I get a female Cuffant with Curse. Sounds fair. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's see here. What do we want? Hmm, I'm kind of liking this. Bring that up a little louder. I think this is it. I think I like this for the forest. Yeah, that's good stuff. I like that. It's the me when I had the energy of a four-year-old version of yourself. You want to portray on stream. Exactly! <laughs> it's how I was before the world broke me, me. <laughs> No, not dirge. That would be too much. Friend, what are you up to? Oh, looking at the bug. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, KK Dirge would be too much. That would be too eerie. I think this is just a little like why? What's up with what's up with this forest? What's going on here? What are we doing? What's the vibe? <laughs> Am I in danger? Annie before Y2K. Man, I was two years old before Y2K. At the oldest. <laughs> I do remember uh, that New Year's. Which, like, just barely. But I do have a memory of it. Rocket, you're really in the way. You need to leave. What even is a memory? <laughs> Heck if I know. I don't have one. No. Um, yeah, my memory from that New Year's Eve is my dad working at a restaurant, actually. Uh, and me and my mom went to go visit him while he was working. He got a thousand dollar tip that night. This was when I was still living in America as a, as a small child. If you remember 2000, you're a millennial. <laughs> I have one single memory. That's, that's, that's the problem though. Cause I have one single memory of before the year 2000. So am I a millennial? Actually, no. <laughs> I have a memory of when it switched to the year 2000. So what does that make me? Uki, tell me. <laughs> I remember the 2002 New Year's when we switched to Euros. My uncle was outside at the ATM to get the first Euros at midnight. That's fun. That's a fun little uh, thing to do. But yeah, I remember going to the restaurant that my dad was working at. And he worked... Um, at a restaurant in, was it Salt Lake? No, Lake Tahoe. Like, at the lake, pretty much. Like, it, the restaurant was looking over the lake. Definitely a millennial, you remember the before times. Well, see, that's the thing. It's the of times. It's the moment it changed. To the times. So what is that? Technically, the millennium changed at 1 1 2001. I guess that's true. <laughs> Power moves is having a memory of when born in 2001. Sure. I guess so. You are. I am a memory. <laughs> My true identity is memory. Excuse me, um, could you use my pronouns mem slash uri? That was a dumb joke. <laughs> that was barely even a joke. Mori, for you it would be m slash ori. <laughs> it's really not something to joke about but like just because of your your name I was like oh wait hmm. too much coffee a little bit <laughs> let's see here M to the Ori <laughs> that memory because those could be valid pronouns for the more female half of the spectrum. That's a good that's a good one. It's also a good way to bring it back to actually something somewhat serious. <laughs> Me, Mori, memory, memory. Me Mori, memory. I knew it was in there somewhere. <laughs> now you're just a memory. It's deep. It's deep, you wouldn't understand. Let's see here. I need one more music player. I think I'll grab this one. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, pronounce. <laughs> Pronouns are not memory. 
Did I actually grab it or not? I don't remember. I can't tell if I did or not. Oops. Let me check. Okay, I did have it. I do have it. I need, I think I want it to be like somewhere in the middle of this forest situation, if I can get out of it. Like if I can place it here, I'd be happy with that. The existence of pronouns implies the existence of amateur nouns. Yes. What are amateur nouns? <laughs> we know your pronouns, but what are your amateur nouns? We call those nouns. <laughs> yes, there you go. Alright, here we go. And I want to turn up the music on this one as well. If I can, I cannot. Come on, Hexco Bird. <laughs> the existence of amateur nouns implies the existence of noob nouns. So we have pronouns, nouns, and noob nouns. What are noob nouns? <laughs> what are your noob nouns? That's working. Nice. I like this. I like the kind of... I like how it's just off. Like, it's not scary. It's not even that creepy. It's just off. Yeah, I need one more music player. Let's see one. I'm gonna grab this one. Because it's not doing any good jobs anywhere. It's not it's not doing what it needs to do over there. <laughs> Pronouns imply they get paid for their nounery. Sure does. Get paid good. Why does it sound like one of my villagers is singing? There's no one here. Oh, actually. Oh, that's why, cause Lolly's singing. What the heck was that? What was that? Did something just fall? Oh, it was a snail! This is good. Alright, what else do we have? I feel like there's not enough of the alarm clocks here. That needs to be more heavily emphasized. But not right there. Put that over here. Yeah, that's a good spot for one. I like this. It jumped? Good! You finally have it. <laughs> Let's see here. Bunny day trees. I think I have enough bunny day trees here. Maybe garden flags? This is looking messy. I don't like this area back here. It's not doing... It's not doing what it needs to do. That was such a hassle. Sure was. Sounded like it, at least. 
I don't like the egg here. That's not, that's what's not working. I feel bad for the person who has to set all those alarm clocks back an hour come October. <laughs> Truly. What a job. It needs something like tall here. What do I have that's tall? Another tree. I'm gonna put a garden flag here. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like you're heading into the Bunny Day Forest. Are they actually set to the switch time? If so, your clock is three minutes out. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think it's uh, set to the wrong date and time. Do I have another one of those garden flags? Not here. I think I have another one in my inventory, though. Let's go back and see what I can find in there. There's anything else that's good. Man, you know what's nice? I don't have any plans for today. Just gonna take some time to clean up the house. I don't have any more classes today. Don't have any appointments set. I don't have anything to do today except for clean up a little bit. Which is nice. I haven't had that for like at least a week now. I've been, like, constantly busy for a week, and that's been exhausting, <laughs> honestly. I am not used to being busy so much, and I'm not into it, honestly. <laughs> I don't like it. Let's grab this wedding flower stand, just to see if that's good. Days without responsibilities are the best. So nice. That being said, I don't see streaming as a responsibility. <laughs> I see that as, like, a fun hobby that I get to do. So, like, that's good stuff. But I'm really not used to having so many responsibilities in a day, so it's been a lot lately. That's why I want to be a multimillionaire, so I can live like that every day. That'd be so chill. Man... Having just days where you don't have to do things, so nice. That's why I'm kind of afraid of actually getting a job at some point. Like, yikes. <laughs> don't like that. Don't like the idea of it. I'm just grabbing some random tall things that I think might look weird. Which is the goal. <laughs> I have a week off and I'm already put off by the fact I'm not in bed by 4 p.m. and up at 10 a.m. at 10 p.m. for work. Yeah, I, I figure that, that is weird to like, if you're used to having to do things all the time, it's probably weird to like, not do things anymore, but I'm kind of the other way around where I had a while where I wasn't really doing too much. I didn't have too many responsibilities and now suddenly it's like, do everything <laughs> and it's not chill I don't like it and then my boyfriend comes with a to-do list ugh ugh you should just tell him hey man this is my day off this is my I'm not doing things day nah I know what it's like adult stuff you gotta keep doing things and it sucks but that's life now Suddenly, you turned into an adult, and now you have to do things. Give the to-do list to me. I'll do the things, aka ripping the list into pieces. <laughs> Good. Yes, as you should. I do still have a couple mushrooms left. That's good. So if I want to make some mushroom things, I probably can. 
Time to finish off the last two months of things. I really like this new water bottle. Is it cute? Oh, Pokemons. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the to-do list. Ooh, I also don't really have any flowers in that area, huh? I can still add those to fill it up a little bit. I feel like this is a warning sign. This one right here. I feel like that's like, hey man, you're going into the Bunny Day Forest. Just so you know, like, you're not getting out of there anytime soon. You'll lose a lot of time. That's why the clocks are there. And yet, even though there's so many clocks, you will have no idea what time it is. Imagine getting gates in ACNH. That'd be cool. That you could, like, actually move open and stuff. That'd be really cool. Why can I not hold on to this tree? Hello, please. I just... <sighs> if I were a millionaire, I'd sit at home all day watching Twitch cartoons, TV, YouTube video games. No care in the world. I'd also probably explore the world as I love camping. Same. I'd be doing the exact same thing. I would travel and I would do nothing. That's it. And people would be like, how are you a millionaire if you just travel and do nothing? And I'd be like, none of your business. There. Can't push that back any further. That's annoying. Alright, so I have a couple random tall things. Let's see what looks good here. And what actually fits. We have the wedding flower stand, which fits, kind of suits the aesthetic, but it's not tall enough. I have to go fist fight my computer. <laughs> uh, why? Termite mound fits, but looks weird. In the wrong type of way. In the way that I don't want it to look weird. Looks like it doesn't suit the area, I guess is what I mean. Tower of Pisa? Ooh, kinda like that. That's kinda good. Reminds me of the Looney Tunes show Bugs Bunny was rich due to inventing the carrot peeler. Hmm. It's a good way to get rich. Did I hear a balloon, or is that just me imagining it? No, I think I do actually hear it. Where is it, though? That's such a jarring change of music. Where is it? Two times in two days, my shift key wasn't working with the number keys. Modding for as many people as I do the exclamation point and at are vital to me to my time on there so I had to try to fix it oh yeah of course I mean those are literally the two most important ones so yeah that, that that's probably annoying is it working now or uh well I guess you type them so like they must kind of be working there's an episode where Daffy Duck stole his electric carrot peeler design and then Bugs lost his fortune because no one needed to buy them anymore. So they had to go back in time and prevent Daffy from producing the electric ones. Huh. That's an interesting uh, plot for... That seems really intricate, specifically. For a Bugs Bunny... Episode? <laughs> seems like a lot to discuss in one episode. Alright, so this Tower of Pisa, I like. I think that's... It suits the trees well, I guess? The color scheme just works. But I do think I want to... Add it behind the gnome, so we can actually see the gnome. So, let's grab that Tower of Pisa again. 
There it is. Use Looney Tunes as a sitcom. Ooh. It's working fine now, yes. Weirdly, it was technically always working, but it was like my keyboard would ignore my presses sometimes. It's been odd. That sounds weird. It sounds like... I don't know, maybe there's crumbs under your keyboard or something. Yeah. That Tower of Pisa looks perfect for this. Also, I love how it leans. That gives a really cool effect for this area. Warner Brothers managed to fit all the countries in the world into like a two minute video. I guess that's also true. They work hard. <laughs> they work hard to do the things they do. Where is the gnome? Where'd it go? Where is it? There it is. Let's turn this around. I really might have been crumbs. I fixed it this time by pulling a key out and putting it back in. Could be, for sure. Kenny, hi! How are you? Came to leave a lurk. Hope you were doing well and stream is going amazing. It is! Thank you so much for being here. How was your stream? Sorry I didn't catch the end there. Let me give you a quick shout out. Just talking about your stream, honestly. If you guys aren't sh aren't following Katie yet, for sure, go and follow her. She is so sweet. She just did a face reveal not too long ago, and she's so pretty. <laughs> uh, sorry, by the way, it feels like I'm always talking and always here talking about nothing. Don't you worry about it. I love talking to you about random keyboard problems. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me what we're talking about. I just like that you're here. Annie always leaving everyone eventually. <laughs> I'm so sorry that at some point I need to leave places. Loki you, hi, how are you? Let me give a shout out to Loki you too. Since we're doing shout outs today. <laughs> How are you, Loki? How's your day? Stream is glad, glad to have you here. You're so sweet. You're so pretty. Aw, thank you, Katie. I'm glad to hear your stream went well. She has a face. You have me at face. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. Also, if you guys aren't following Loki yet, what are you doing? Her streams are amazing, and she does these really cool music streams, and it's so fun. Beats my conversation about matter- <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> Wait, okay. I kind of thought we were going back into the cannibalism thing, but I'm glad we're not. Matter Eater Man is nowhere near as bad. <laughs> I need to start streaming if everyone gets a shout-out. You should stream. Just do it. Good, got a few minutes before another meeting and saw you were on. Of course, Loki, no problem. What kind of meeting do you have? Just followed both of them? Thank you! They're wonderful streamers and uh, deserve the attention. Too busy watching Annie to go follow them. <laughs> After stream. <laughs> That's all good. But yeah, very fun people, and I'm glad you guys are here. Let's see here. So. <laughs> for the people who just came in, we are working on this creepy bunny day forest. Just making it look weird. When we're talking shoutouts, you have to shout out this amazing Dutch streamer. Like, the most amazing punny name. She's, like, the best. Her name is Animal Crossing. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. Matter Eater Lad's power is that he can eat anything. Lock him in a cage, eat through the bars. That's honestly so convenient, though. Alright, what else do we have here? We do still have the wedding flower stand, which I think does look good here. I think maybe I should put that, like, over here. Come about right here. I'm surprised it actually fits. One of my horses said she wanted to leave yesterday. I was like, thanks, bye. Which one? 
Yeah, the horse villagers are kind of weird. All right, Katie, thank you so much for being here. I thought her name was, <laughs> I'll play any, I'll play anything. Yeah, not everyone's aware of the new branding yet. <laughs> Can we get matter eater lead to solve the plastic ocean or just garbage in general? There you go. See, that's the, that's thinking in the future. <laughs> Everyone from this planet can eat all matter. Just send them over and call it lunch. <laughs> exactly. Cleo? Alright. Yeah, Cleo's not my favorite character either. Good to hear she's uh, a villager you didn't like is gone. <laughs> Got Julian the unicorn and don't want two horse types. Julian is the best. Julian is pretty much the only really good horse villager, I think. Where am I gonna put that flower stand? Maybe over here? Because I feel like there's not enough, like, white going on here. I feel like it needs more. Julian was my first camper. Really? That's cool. I feel like I never have any campsite villagers. I feel like they just skip my island. Had him ever since? Really? That's cool. Yeah, Julian's cool. You know what? I'm not into this flower stand. It's not working. It's like the shape or something is weird. What else can we do? Do we have anything else that's white? How about the Maui statue? Maui? I wonder if that fits anywhere. Uh, it's very dark. Maybe deeper into the forest that would look cool. Yeah, there's not really room for it. That's fine. It doesn't need to be here. Like Julian, yes I guess. Cleo randomly moved in without my permission one day. I think I dragged my feet over who should move in. <laughs> Eh, that's annoying when villagers move in unannounced, just like, eh, this one. I'm, I'm moving to this island, and you you can't do anything to stop me. Alright, let me add the sign here, because I know I want that one here. Oh, that looks not what I, there it is. <laughs> now it makes sense. That looks like how I remember it looking. Hey, Velma. Also over here. If we need a name for it after that, I'll play anything branding runs dry. <laughs> It'll have to be partner Annie Day now. <laughs> Watch me just change my branding every other week. This is pretty good. Um, the only problem is that Velma is in the way. Still have both my starter villagers? Me too! Kevin and Rocket were my starters. Yeah, I guess I'm talking to Velma now. How do you do, love? I was just thinking about- I was just thinking how lovely it would be to see you, Bunrilla. Stop calling me Bunrilla! <laughs> What's the latest? I'm going to go hunting for Tipper the cow as I will still need a snooty villager, and I think we might vibe. Tipper is good, I like Tipper. Hey, Grumpy Ponder, how you doing? Good morning. I never imagined I'd come to this island and make such dear friend. Life is full of wonderful surprises. Aw, Velma, that's really sweet. But you are still seriously in the way. Cause I need to like pull those things back over this way. Ooh, you know what? I think I might add I'm gonna try one more time with the wedding flower stand. It kind of works there. That looks kind of good. Still don't love it, but it'll do. Yeah, it's just, it clutters. I don't like it. We're taking it away. <laughs> 
I started with Billy the goat and Plucky the chicken. You had Billy! I love Billy! Plucky had to go. Billy is still on my island. Oh, there you go. Billy is so good. I really love Billy. Can't lie, when <laughs> it was tabbed out and heard, hey, grumpy, and my ears perked up. Of course. Not henna this time, however. Thank you for leaving. I appreciate that. This, however, is not working. Alright, let's take this and the Tower of Pisa and we'll put the Tower of Pisa back a square. There we go. I guess I'll go grocery shopping tomorrow instead of Monday when I had planned to. Alright. What made you change your mind? And then we'll put the garden gnome. Actually, before I put it anywhere, let me get out of here before I lock myself in. Over here. Then bring this tree back one spot. Seriously? <laughs> Why? Is it the garden gnome? The garden gnome was in the way. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Just couldn't be bothered yet? That's fair. Let's see how I can turn this Tower of Pisa so it'll look the most leany. I guess just like this. <laughs> Actually. And we'll bring the clock back over here. That's good. Then I want to add a little bear over here. We're getting there. It's already looking pretty good. Push that to the back. Nice. Then if I can, I want to add another alarm clock somewhere. Like over here at the front. And then I'll add some flowers in. This area still looks weird, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. Oh, I hear another balloon. Let me grab my slingshot. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I still don't have my tools on my tool ring. I just don't ever use that thing. I thought it was going to be so convenient, and then I just never learned how to use it. I know it's not, like, hard to learn, but just, like, inconvenient enough that I don't feel like learning it. The tool ring... Oh, seriously? It just disappeared? So, like, you can technically... Oops. Like, you can use this to switch between your tools. I know it's convenient, but I just... never decided to make it work. Oh, I also still have an umbrella. Maybe I can put that somewhere. Look at this cute little froggy. Love that. I'm sure it's very convenient. I mean, there's a reason it is there and why everyone uses it. I just never got into using it. Leaf umbrella. No, I don't want to hold it. <laughs> Put that away. I want to put it on the ground, like right over here. pull it more over here? No, I guess not. Do I like that? Not really. Never mind. Alright, I think it's flower time. I am gonna... 
I was gonna say take away this path, not this tree. Gonna head to my meeting. Nice to see you. Take care, all. Thank you so much for stopping by, Loki. You guys, I hope you have a good meeting. Thanks for being here. <laughs> have a good meeting in a great time zone. <laughs> Loki is almost in the same time zone as me. I think she's one time zone before me. Alright guys, I am going to take another quick bathroom break here, and then we'll put some flowers in, and I think that'll be pretty much it for today. But, in any case, I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's get back into this. Why are there so many masks in this game? Creepy masks? I don't know, I don't think there's that many creepy masks in this game. <laughs> what game? Wait, do you mean the game? Because you guys already lost that one recently. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame Yes I Guess for making me think of the game. <laughs> there you go. Y'all just lost the game. Good luck, everyone, getting your streak back, because you all lost the game once again. I feel like that happens a little too much in this stream. Wrong button. A little behind the scenes. <laughs> Uki deserves to be banned for bullying. No, she d no Uki doesn't. Two thousand seven called. They want their game back. <laughs> the game is timeless. Don't. That's bullying to let it to to make us feel like we're old. Let's see here. Flowers. I was going to add flowers. I have one blue hyacinth that I want to add in here. I hope I have like any space at all to add flowers. I mean, I can make space. I'm older than I assume most of you. Jeff, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Maybe I already know, but I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't gotten Isabel's photo yet, but that's also because I haven't really been participating in the whole app thing. 26? No, oh, that's not that bad. I think you are probably older than most of us. I think Mermaid is older. Mermaid just turned 30. Let's see here. I think over here I need a white flower, if I can add one at all. Velma, you need to move. I mean, 
You're only three years older than I am. But I guess we already know that I'm old, so. Got 200 nook points? Man, I don't have any yet. I really haven't been paying attention to it. I should probably try harder. <laughs> Alright, let's get some white flowers. I don't know why I'm going over here, because I know I have a million flowers over on the other end. Plant this one real quick, though. Through bird camp soon. I can't, I can't wait. I'm going to tell all my friends. As you should. I want a white hyacinth. Where are my hyacinths? Gotta be one anywhere. Uh, gotta be one somewhere, right? Let's see any white hyacinths. Is this one? I think that's a white hyacinth, but it's not blooming, so I don't want it. Found one. I'm gonna grab the other one too. Jord, hey, how are ya? Once again, I said Jord. What is <laughs> Jared? <laughs> I swear I'm doing that by accident. I have the back issues of a 65 year old mover, so does that count? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I do too. Why is Leaf so rare? Leaf is rare, isn't he? I feel like I never get Leaf, but also I feel like I never get any NPCs. When the world needed him most, he vanished. <laughs> I feel like I want mostly white flowers here. Jordan AU. <laughs> I think it might be the AU that's like somehow messing me up. But like, I don't know how that translates into. how Jared tra tra translates into Jord for me. Like, that's kind of weird. Anyways, welcome in, Jared. <laughs> Sorry I keep calling you Jord for some reason. I want mostly white flowers there, so I'm gonna grab some mums, grab some... I come back after a break and this is how you treat me. How was your break? How are you? J <laughs> Jord, but with an E-O. That's it. <laughs> So sorry, how are you? Thank you for coming back in the first place. In this hostile environment. Let's see, I want this one. You're good? Good to hear. What have you been up to? Eh, I'll grab a lily. Why not? But I think it needs to mostly be white flowers over there. Because, like, creepy. It's all the reasoning you guys are getting. I have a friend. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's add a mum over here. Okay, I can't. Yeah, I filled this up pretty good, huh? Fine, we'll add a mum over here. Where else can I still add flowers? Mainly family stuff and going to the gym. Alright. How's that been going? How's your family? Don't grab a lily without asking for her consent first. <laughs> so sorry. Lily, is it okay for me to plant you here? She says yes. I think I need, like, a white flower here as well. Add the lily over here. The lily is a little too, like, wholesome for this area. I need... space. <laughs> Honestly, I need space to plant the flowers. 
Let me take away these uh, balloons real quick. Oh, or not. Okay, <laughs> I guess not. Let's put that tree back. Maybe I can push it back a little bit? No. Can't. What if I got another 15k to spend on friend code? I mean, you could. <laughs> They're okay. Dad has to fly to Melbourne next next week. My, mom, my nan has cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Was that very unexpected? In any case, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope uh, she gets through it. I hope she's okay. There we go. That's where I want the flower to be. And then we'll put a bunny day tree here. Uh, it was unexpected. Dang, that really sucks. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope she gets better and recovers quickly and easily. I know how scary that can be. Garden gnome back over. Why can I not push it over? Why? <laughs> Fine, whatever. The hyacinth here. That's pretty good. I'm annoyed by this tree being here, but whatever. Hey, Zucker on a snack run. <laughs> How's it going? I like your name. Lexi here, Jared. Hope things work out well for her and within a reasonable time frame. Yeah, exactly. I hope so too. Yeah, those things are really scary and really tough to deal with and, uh... I hope it gets better. <laughs> You're welcome, Zucker. I'm good. You know, just hanging out. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Just finishing up this area of the forest for now. I think maybe I want the leaf of... Um, it still looks so cluttered here. I think it might be... Honestly, I think it might be the bear that's making this area look cluttered. Something's not working. Oh my god. What made you believe that that was the place to go? Why? What? Okay. There we go. There we go. That's good. I like that. And then we'll push this one back and even more back into this corner. Nice. Yes, that is much better. 1.5 times 1.5 items are so... Oh, yeah. I hate those items. They're like... They just... They're so awkward. It's like, just go where you know you need to go. And also make the item, like, 
not be like that. This is looking good, though. I'm very happy with this uh, space. Especially now that I've moved this thing into where I think it looks good. I think the bear was messing me up. Let's see if I can plant any flowers back there. Jules, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? I was talking about you earlier, too. Plant anything here. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Okay. Good to hear. What have you been up to lately? How's the streaming going? I'm doing well. Just working on this uh, weird, creepy bunny day forest. <laughs> I wish I could push that item a little bit further back. Also, I gotta get rid of those tulips. <laughs> so, I know Bunny Day has already happened, but like, I really love the Bunny Day trees. I think they're like really nice for this eerie forest situation. 15 hour subathon? Sick! How'd it go? Subathon is where, like, the timer doesn't- goes up when, uh, when people sub, right? Those tulips weren't bright enough. I need, like, wind flowers here. What was here in the first place? Oh, I think an alarm clock. Uh, alarm clock was amazing, but it, I felt like a zombie towards the end. Yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> that sounds really intense. 15 hours? We were just talking about how, like, the four-hour stream was already on, or the five-hour stream was honestly already too much for me. <laughs> Let's grab this lily. She said I could. that over here as well. Actually, I think I want the alarm clock over here. Oop. I can hardly do six hours nowadays. Man, 15 hours is a long time. What did the timer start at? If I remember right, a subathon is a stream that's extended every sub milestone usually determined by the individual streamer. Yeah. Isn't that basically what Ludwig was doing for the last frickin' 30 days? For me, it was 30 plus, min plus 30 minutes for every sub. Nice. Started at 5? Wow! Jeez! Good job, man! Nicely done. A lot of work, but pays off. If I did a subathon, you guys would never let me sleep. <laughs> it's probably not true. Either it would take forever, or it would just take however long the clock started at. No caffeine either, so it was a bit tough. Oh, why no caffeine? I don't even do my normal streams without a cup of coffee. Was that just a challenge for the stream? Man, I wish I could put something... Maybe I can put something else that's small here. Because that's a little too... same beep <laughs> right there the best way I can describe it. Too much of the same thing going on. I was out of coffee and forget to, forgot to buy Red Bull. Oh no. Man. 
That must have made it really hard, I can imagine. I don't... <laughs> Let me get rid of the picnic real quick. Honestly, I might just get rid of it in general, because it's kind of taking up a lot of space that I could fill with, like, for instance, another bunny day tree. And, like, more flowers. I think... I really like what it looked like there, but it was in the way. Let's see here. So now that I can put another bunny day tree here, I first want to fill up some space with flowers now that I can. Need more brighter white flowers. But that sounds really cool. I'm glad your subathon went really well. Good to hear. Did you have a good time? Hi there, you and thinking script. Hey, and thinking script. How you doing? Did my first all hearts run today? Ooh, how'd it go? How was it? Did you get a good time? Two fifty two oh one. That sounds pretty good. I see that usually, like, a goal for people, just any percent, I guess, is uh, under one hour. But, like, for actual getting things, sounds like you did good. When's your first Celeste run? Well, I mean, I already did my first Celeste run. I just didn't do a speed run. I did more of like a <laughs> casual stroll. <laughs> this is my uh, Celeste casual stroll. <laughs> Alright, now let's put the tree here. See, the problem is it's too symmetrical now. Let's see if we can push or pull that over someplace. We can't, so I'm gonna have to take the flowers out again. Great. Let's see here. Maybe the flowers aren't even the problem, honestly. I'm not sure. Might as well at least take that one out, because I didn't like it anyways. And here, a balloon. But I don't feel like getting it. Fine, I'll also take the other one out. Because I think that one is inhibiting my movement. There we go. Alright, let's get... There it is. <laughs> My slingshot, get that balloon. Bang. It's in an inconvenient spot. Did I get it or not? No. Fell into the abyss. Oh well. Yes! There we go. Good. Yeah, that is better. I like it better this way. Put a nice bright white flower here. Maybe another one? Or maybe an alarm clock. Yeah, we'll put an alarm clock here. Come on. <laughs> so in thinking script, what's your goal time for uh 
What would be a good time for that run? Or like, I guess that already is a good time, but what's the time you're working towards? This is good. This is good. I wish I could move any of these trees out of the way, but I cannot. I mean, I guess I could change the path here, but I like what it looks like, so I'm not going to. It's looking pretty cool, though. I do like this. My weird, eerie forest. Let me put the centipede back. Good news? Ooh, tell me. There we go. My Pokemon were all done now? Nice! Good job! Alright, I think that's about it for now. <laughs> I think this is about what we're what we're doing. I do want to take away this one red flower because it's messing up the vibe. Come on. And we'll replace that with a white flower. Besides that, I think that'll be about it for today. Do you guys have anyone in mind for a raid? Any ideas? Let me know if you know of anyone good who's streaming right now. And, um, yeah. Pretty happy with how this turned out. Not sure if it's completely done or if it's completely how I want to keep it right now. But I like how it is. I think it looks nice. Maybe we'll work on it some more tomorrow. Maybe we'll do something else. I don't know. <laughs> In any case, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And, uh... Have a good time zone. <laughs> I like that one. Let's see here. What is it telling me to raid? Glad I finally caught you again. Thank you so much for being here, Trico. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you were here. Let's see. Mm -mm. I don't see anyone in my recommended right now that I want to raid. Do you guys have any uh, good ideas? I mean, we could always go over to Lil's channel if we can't find someone, but yeah. Maybe not today, you know? Oop, that's the wrong app. I was going to open Twitch. Hey, Jules. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. Speaking of, uh, speaking of Pokemon, we could go over to Slow to the Party, who is playing Pokemon Ruby Sapphire. Oh, the one I got is Daenerys. Oh, we could go to Daenerys, too. No one's really streaming? Yes, Pokemon? Alright, let's head over to Slow to the Party. They are a very, very cool streamer, if you guys haven't uh, seen them before he's he's a super nice person just really cool i think you guys will like him if you haven't uh, been there before oh my goodness <laughs> it's a really cool overlay for pokemon don't know them yes you do i think you've been over there too <laughs> all right guys let's head over to slow to the party's channel thank you guys so much for being here and uh yeah let them know where you came from have a good time over there, and thank you once again for being here. Let's start this. You need a raid message? Just, just be nice. Just let them know. Alright guys, see you later.